BBC family is Pastor D. Well, we made it to this point. And I am now prepared to announce to you phase three of our reopening. Phase one began the first Sunday in April where we allowed back the ministers, the deacons and the deaconesses and their immediate family. Phase two began the first Sunday in May when we allowed back our servant leaders and all of our seasoned saints and their immediate family. And now, by way of this recording, I am happy to say to you, phase three will begin the first Sunday in June. Phase three will encompass all of you who feel comfortable with returning to the building, returning to the sanctuary. You are welcome to return with your immediate families. I look forward to seeing you, but allow me to give some instructions. Phase one, phase two, we required masks to be worn and to social distance. And I'm going to say to you that in phase three, at least for the first month, the month of June, we will not deviate from that. Mask will still be required. We will still have you social distance. When you come to the sanctuary, you will see that there are there are markings in chairs that tell you that that chair is not available. We will not remove those markings. And please, sir and or ma'am, you don't move them either. They are properly positioned to make sure that there is distance between you and your neighbor so that no one feels uncomfortable. There are some who are not going to want to return back right now. I have to be okay with that. No discouragement. I will make you feel bad about it. Pray about your decision and ask God to give you supernatural peace on when to return back. But I want to tell you, as I've been telling you, we have done all we can to maintain safety protocols. Your safety, your welfare is very important to us. We have intensified our sanitation stations. We are doing air purifications. We are spraying um, around. We are sanitizing things and wiping things down with Lysol. We're, we're going above and beyond. The, 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 our cleaning crew is coming in twice a week. We're doing everything that needs to be done. And these things will be maintained for the foreseeable future. But I want to welcome you back. And so all of those from the Bible-based church, Tallahassee family, who feel comfortable with returning to the sanctuary, first Sunday in June, you're permitted to do so. I would ask you, my brothers and sisters, that you will still practice self-awareness, that you will still do some self-responsibility. What does that mean? If you're not feeling well, watch us on live stream. There's no need for you to press to come in here. If you've been around someone who hasn't been feeling well, watch us on live stream until you are certain that, that what they have has not made you contagious. I love you. We love you. You love us. We want to be careful and protect each other. I'm excited, y'all. We're finally at that point. We have been strategic in, in how we've been doing our phases. It's been laborious, but it's been necessary. I know other churches are doing other things with RSVP. Some have fully come back immediately. Kudos to them. But that was never going to be our motivation. We were going to follow the unction of the Holy Spirit. And I'm at peace that where we are. And so, again, I want to encourage all of you, if you call our church, your church, you're welcome to return back first Sunday in June. If you have been a visitor of our ministry, you're welcome to come. If you have been watching us on live stream and you want to come visit for the first time, you're welcome to come. If you have someone who's called you and said, let me know when your church reopens fully, I want to come, let them know. We thank the Lord in that regard. We will still do right by you. If you've noticed for the majority of the, of, the, of the time away, we've been doing our worship service in about an hour to an hour and five minutes. That's from the start to the finish. We don't plan on stopping that. We're going to still do Sunday school at 9 a.m. in, in our um, overflow area. That'll still be done in that manner, still showing that live to you on Zoom and on YouTube. Our 10 a.m. services will still be on the website and YouTube and Facebook Live, as well as on Twitter Live. We're going to still make that available to you. But let me say to you, there is something about being in the sanctuary, something about being in the presence of brothers and sisters. David said in Psalm 122, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm telling you, it's something about entering into the doors. And when you come in here, you will realize that your church has intensified um, what we're doing to make sure everyone is comfortable and safe. So you can rest in the assurance that you can come here and not have to worry about being exposed to someone. We're going to make sure of that. So remember, masks are still required. 
So is social distancing. We're going to make sure that we still encourage you to give your offerings and your tithes online. Even if you're coming to the building, you can still do that online. We do have black baskets on the premises where you can drop your offering in there if you so choose. We're going to continue to flow as we've been flowing, continue to do worship service as we've been doing it. Cut out a lot of meat to be very intentional about our worship services. And so please, sir and ma'am, um, come on back. Come on back. Come on back and be a part of the fellowship. Come on back and be a part of the unity. Come on back and be a part of the gathering. But if you're not comfortable, let your pastor say to you, um, you remain where you've been to watch us on Sunday. But please, my brother or sister, don't stay away from the sanctuary and also stay away from being a part of the live stream. There are some you have not come on the premises. You have not watched us on live stream. So it's hard for us to cover you and to feed you if you're not allowing us to. Please, sir and ma'am, again, first Sunday in June, we welcome you back for the nine o'clock Sunday school or 10 a.m. worship service. We shall proceed in doing the things of our God. I look forward to seeing you all. I'm encouraged to see you all. I encourage you to encourage other people. And until that time, let's remain in prayer. During that time, let's remain in prayer. And after that time, let's remain in prayer. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. This is Pastor D. I love you. Nothing you can do about it. Until we see each other again, don't just be blessed. Live blessed.